Sorry, mister, you can't go in there. Can't go in? What do you mean I can't go in? Don't you recognize me? Look, this curly hair, this lovable personality, this deep, rich voice. Oh, excuse me. Go right in, Tallulah. <laughs> RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show. <laughs> Here is the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show, transcribed, written by Ray Singer, Dick Chevrolet, and Ed James. With Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, John Hubbard, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, and yours truly, Bill Foreman. The title of tonight's little monstrosity is A Day at Santa Anita, or That's a Horse on You. <laughs> First, however, here's a word from RCA Victor. How would you like a permanent pass to the biggest shows from coast to coast? A front row seat at exciting dramas, wonderful concerts, and top sports events. You can have all this and more through television. Through television, 80 million Americans, every other person, has the equivalent of a reserve seat for this wonderful entertainment right at home. So if you're missing the wonders of TV, buy a new RCA Victor now. RCA Victor brings you television's clearest, steadiest pictures. The famous Magic Monitor Circuit System screens out static automatically, steps up power automatically, and automatically ties the best sound to the finest picture. And thanks to rotomatic tuning, one click of one knob brings in the station with virtually no fine adjustments. See your RCA Victor dealer tomorrow. He has the perfect set for your home. He can deliver your RCA Victor now so you can start to enjoy television at once. And remember... A factory service contract for expert installation and maintenance is available to RCA Victor television owners in principal areas. Ask about an RCA Victor factory service contract. Another reason why every year more people buy RCA Victor than any other television. <laughs> and now the stars of the RCA Victor program, Alice Fay and Bill Harris. <laughs> A fool and his money are soon parted. That's what they say. That's what Alice Faye says, too. And she doesn't mean King Farouk. She's referring to the carefree, lovable, debonair man about town, Bill Harris. <laughs> I'm walking behind you on our wedding day. A 45 in each pocket, and they're both RCA. <laughs> oh, hiya, honey. How's every little old thing? You look fine. Why? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Alice. That's no way to talk. Now, when I came in here this morning, I felt like a million bucks. And that's the way you spend money, too. <laughs> look at these bills. Oh, well, now you ruined my whole day. Phil, you've got to cut down. Honey, you know I don't drink. <laughs> Before breakfast. <laughs> Phil, you've got to stop wasting money How did I waste the money now? Well, just look here One bathing suit, a hundred dollars Honey, I know it was for me Baby, it was worth it Do you realize that every sequin was sewn on just right? I know, but did they have to spell out Stand back, this belongs to Phil Harris <laughs> <laughs> Ain't taking no chance Phil Phil, if you keep this up You'll go through your money in no time Ah, oh, stop worrying, honey We ain't even halfway through yours yet <laughs> <laughs> Look, I gotta go downtown and see Ellie I ain't seen him all day Well, you don't have to go downtown He's right here, having his lunch Oh, he is where? In the garage <laughs> Elliot's eating in the garage? Well, he ate everything we had in here 
<laughs> now he's having lunch with the dog. Democratic little devil, ain't he? The Elliot or the dog? Oh. Hey, Bill, where are you going? I told you, honey, I'm going out to see Elliot. I'll be right back. Get my eyes open. I don't get a cup of coffee. She's nagging, nagging, nagging. I don't know what the trouble. Hi, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Hmm? Oh, excuse me, Curly. Hey, yeah. Didn't hear you coming. Where did I take these clothespins off my ears? What do you got clothespins on your ears for? They kept getting in the dog food. <laughs> Hey, you know, Curly, that's pretty good stuff Certainly, it ought to be Factories at Del Mar They use nothing but winners <laughs> Hiya, Nipper <laughs> He's on fire today He's a happy little beastie, ain't he? I'm gonna make you a happy little beastie too, Curly How would you like to come in on a big deal with me And make a million dollars? Million, huh? Mm -hmm. Is that more than a thousand? <laughs> More than a thousand? That's twice as much. <laughs> What's a proposition? You remember that horse, Blue Blazes, we saw run at Santa Anita a few times? I got a chance to buy him for 500 bucks. 500 bucks? We couldn't go very wrong, could we? I'm telling you, we'll make a fortune. We'll go partners. We'll chip in 50 50 and buy him. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. You got $250? Sure. Okay. I'll borrow that for my half. Now, all you got to do is dig up $250 for your half. You mean you ain't got your $250, huh? Right. Okay, so I'm going to lend it to you. Now, where do we contact the guy that's got the animal? He's sitting out in front of his car. You see him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see him out there, but he... Hey, wait a minute. Hmm? What's he got his motor running for? Well, as soon as he sells the horse, he's going to leave town. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, now, look, Elliot, here's the dough. Go close the deal. Well, ain't you going to come along? No, no, I think I'll stay here with Nipper for a while. Yeah, right, old Mr. C. Whitney Vanderbilt Harris. I shall see you in the paddock. Cheero. <laughs> Did you hear that, Nipper? <laughs> he's going... What? <laughs> You're hungry again? What for? You don't do nothing. All you do is sit around in front of that big troller. Look, you don't know how lucky you are. Everybody else has to work hard for their money and their food. And don't talk back to me. Now get up on your feet and tilt your head. Now listen. This is your master's voice. I don't want to sound like I'm preaching a sermon. But I've heard people say The early bird catches the worm and there's a lot of good logic in that old cliche. There's certain obligations you just can't shirk. You've got to put the heat on to make the kettle perk. And if you want it to be a good day, you've got to do a good day's work. You got to dig, 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 dig for your dinner. Nothing's what you get for free. You got to dig, 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 dig for your dinner. Never was a money tree. And furthermore, my friends, I must repeat, nobody's living down on Easy Street. And if you want to owe for groceries, you gonna get an awful lot of no series. You got to dig, 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 dig for the dollar. Ain't as simple as you think. You can't purl on. A sirloin Or the butcher will put you in the clink You just can't be a lazy bird You got to get off of your twig So you can afford your room and your board And it's nice to have the price of a sick You've got to pay old fiddler man If you want to do a jig You got to be as busy as a bee To be a Mr. B.I.G. And if you want some dig, dig Dignity, you got to dig, 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 dig for your dinner. Dig, 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 dig. You just can't be that lazy bud. You got to get off of the twig so you can afford your room and your board. And it's nice to have the price of a sick. You've got to pay old fiddler man if you want to 
do a jig. You got to be as busy as a bee to be a Mr. B I G. And if you want some dig, dig, dignity, you got to dig, 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 dig for your dinner. Dig, 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 dig. Right? Alice? Yes, William? Shall I take the children over to Mother's? Well... Uh... Hey, Alice! Hey, Alice! Oh, Alice! Boy, we oh, got something to tell you. Yeah. Hello, Elliot. Hey, honey, wait till you hear this. Hey, Willie, stick around. You gotta hear this, too. Look, honey, Elliot and me are now owners of a racing stable. <laughs> we just bought a racehorse. Oh, no. Oh, it's a great horse, Alice. Listen, it's Blue Blazes out of Honey Girl by Blue Street. What kind of a horse is it, Philip? What does he look like? Well, I didn't see him. <laughs> I mean, the guys got him in a stall at Santa Anita, and he didn't have time to take us out. You bought a horse without seeing him? We didn't have to see him. The owner gave us this picture of the horse. <laughs> Look, ain't he a beautiful animal? Let's see it, Elliot. Yeah, here, Al. Well, all you can see is his head and tail. The rest of him is covered with a blanket. Yeah, yeah. But just look at the name on that blanket. Blue Blazers. What a G. G. <laughs> we got them for $500. $500? Philip, you've been cheated. You can't buy a good racehorse for that kind of money. What do you know about horses? I'm very familiar with horses. I ride a great deal. I'll have you know I was practically born in the saddle. Wasn't your mother uncomfortable? <laughs> Listen, William, I'm telling you that this is a great racehorse. It'll break records, and I don't mean RCA Victor records. What? I what? just threw it in. Do you mind? I just threw it in. Records, he says. I could take the most broken-down animal in, in any riding stable and beat this hay burner you've been stuck with. Oh. Oh, you could, huh? Let me ask you something. Would you like to have a match race and make a little bet on it? All right. When would you like to hold this so-called race? Why not right now? They're not racing at Santa Anita today, and I feel confident that their turf will be in adequate condition. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> I'll get a horse from the first riding academy I come to and meet you at Santa Anita in two hours. <laughs> Goodbye, Philip. So long, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Curly, are we going to take him? It's going to be a cinch, especially. <laughs> he don't, but especially with you riding our horse. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm going to ride no horse. I'm allergic to him. When I was a kid, one of them kicked me. Yeah? Where'd he kick you? In Milwaukee. <laughs> I was living there at the time. <laughs> hey, why don't you ride him, Curly? Well, I... Well, I'd love to, Elliot, but I... I... You know, I used to live in Milwaukee, too. Hey, why don't you fellas get a regular jockey to ride in? No, they're expensive, Alice. They get a lot of dough. Jockeys. Gee whiz. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if my old pal, Eddie R. Carroll, came walking through that door and said... Anybody home? I brought the groceries! <laughs> I don't think he'd say that, Curly. <laughs> Please, will you? Hey, um, hey. Oh, will you hear? Hey, Julius, come here. Have I got something to tell you? Good morning, Miss Faye. Well, ain't you going to say anything to us, pal? Yeah. Help! Wait. <laughs> hey, Julius, you shouldn't say anything like that because today, Mr. Lewis and I are going to do you one of the biggest favors you've ever had in your life. We just bought a racehorse, and we want you to ride him in a big race. You mean you're going to let me be a jockey? Gee, 
Julius the Whip Fabrizio. <laughs> you mean I'll be, I'll be one of them guys that boots home winners in them big races? With the people screaming and, and yelling and they put a big horseshoe of roses around your neck and, and pay a lot of dough for doing it? That's it, kid. How do you like the idea? It don't appeal to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of horses and I ain't gonna ride one for nobody. Oh, gee. Miss Faye here thought you'd do it for her. You want me to, Miss Faye? Well... In that case, I'll do it. With the woman I love to cheer me on, I shall ride like the wind, and neither rain nor snow nor sleet nor hail shall stay this courier from the swift completion all of All right, the... all right. <laughs> ride the horse first. You can deliver the mail later. <laughs> Hey, we're leaving for the track now, Julius. Can you go with us? Certainly. Yours was the last order I had to deliver. Hey, Alice, would you like to see the race, too? I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll get my coat and be right with you. Well, where's this hay boiner you two guys own? All oh, right, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. He's over there in one of them stables. Now, look, Julius, you and Alice wait here, and Elliot and I will go over and get him. Come on, Elliot. Yeah. Hey, gosh. I can't wait to see blue blazes, Curly. Hey, Elliot, look over there. Look over there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There's our horse. Boy, he's a beautiful beast, ain't he? Yeah. He's got a lovely voice, too. <laughs> Sounds like Crosby. <laughs> hey, Curly, lead him out of the stall so we can get a better look at him. Huh? Okay. Let's get him right out of there. All right, now take it easy. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Atta boy. Hey, look at him. Right. Come on. Atta boy. Right over. No, over here. Over here. Yeah. Hey, you two. Where are you going with that blanket? Belongs to my horse, Blue Blazes. This says Blue Blazes. It is not. I just loaned that blanket to a guy to put on this nag while he took a picture of it. You mean this ain't Blue Blazes? But we just bought him for $500. You paid 500 bucks for this? <laughs> oh, 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 brother! <laughs> Have you been taken? <laughs> all right, all right, laughing boy. <laughs> What's so funny? Wait, I'll take the blanket off and show you. Gentlemen, glue pot the second. <laughs> glue pot. That's Blue Blazes out of Honey Girl by Blue Street. It's Blue Pot out of Frying Pan by mistake. <laughs> That's the most sway back nag I ever seen. Yeah. He's just got a front and an end. He ain't got no middle. <laughs> Take a look at him, Elliot. There's our horse. Take a look at him. Has he ever sway back? His stomach is touching the ground. <laughs> what am I going to tell Alice? Let's turn it upside down and tell her it's a camel. <laughs> Will you keep quiet? Now, listen. Maybe if we leave the blanket on, we can keep her from seeing him before the race. That Alice sees it. Hey, mister... Hey, uh, partner, could, um, could we borrow this blanket for a while? Sure, but bring it back when you're through. <laughs> oh! Come on, horse. Get going, horsey. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, Curly, he don't want to move. He can't. His stomach's dragging. <laughs> How are we going to get him over to Alice? If we had a pair of skates, we could put them under his stomach and roll them over. Yeah. We could also butter his stomach and slide them. <laughs> hey, he's moving, Curly. Should I clock him? <laughs> With what, a calendar? <laughs> get sensible, will you? Let's get this over with. Come on. All right. 
Elliot, this is the last time I'm ever going to listen to you. You talked me into buying the world's most broken down that. Don't blame me. How did I know the guy was a crook? And besides, how do you know he can't run? Just because he's built funny don't mean anything. He might be, he, he might be a great runner. Well, I certainly hope so, because I got to go through with this race. Elliot, now don't say nothing to Alice. Don't say a word with a blanket on him. Maybe she won't notice. Yeah, All right, okay. watch it. We're getting right. close. Hi, Alice. Hi. Mm-hmm. Here's our horse. Ain't he beautiful? Well, he has a lovely head and a nicely braided tail. Take the blanket off so I can see the rest of him. And I'll take it off. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Julius. Don't do it. I... Oh. This is a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, it's a horse. Count his feet. <laughs> How can I win a race with a thing like this? Every time he takes a step, his stomach bounces along the ground like a basketball. <laughs> I can't ride him. I'll have to dribble him around the track. <laughs> Bill, how could you buy that thing? It's the most sway-backed animal I've ever seen. He ain't sway-backed. <laughs> no? You could sprinkle snow on his back and use him for a ski jump. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a roller coaster that got away from Cinerama. <laughs> <laughs> He may not look like much, but he'll beat Willie's horse. Come on, Julius, mount him. (laughs) Are you kidding? (laughs) The only one that should mount this thing is a taxi (laughs) driver. I wouldn't be found dead on that neck. I'm leaving. Now, wait a minute, Julius. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Julius. Well, there goes Willie Schumacher's boy. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? Curly, you'll have to ride. But I can't. Look, I can't get oh, on a Bill. horse like... Bill, what? What? Bill, here comes Willie. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to have to ride him. Now, look, I want you two to defend Blue Pot in front of Willie, or I'll never live this down. Now, help Whoa. me now. Good old boy. Whoa, steady, steady. Well, Philip, I'm ready for the race. This is the horse I'm going to ride, and I... <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <coughs> it's a horse. <laughs> What'd you think it was? Well, the way it sags in the middle, I thought it was a cheap mattress. <laughs> He's so sway back. He is not. He's tired. <laughs> That's all. He ain't even one inch sway back. He just happens to be the only racehorse in the world whose stomach starts from a kneeling position. (laughs) Philip, surely you don't expect to beat me with that old thing. He ain't old. Of course he ain't old. You just watch him go when I get in that saddle and I say, Giddy up! Oh, giddy! Curly, giddy! Something I forgot to tell you. Huh? The owner told me when you want him to go, you don't say giddy up. What do I say? Just yell in his ear, To arms, to arms, the British are coming! get the race started. Okay, fellas, get on your horses. All right, Elliot, I'm on mine. Philip, don't just stand there. Get on your horse. I am on my horse. Bill, pick up your legs. Your knees are dragging. (laughs) All right, get ready, fellas. When I say go, you start. Steady, boy. Steady now. Now, look, old buddy, we're going to break fast, and then we're going to take to the rail. On your mark, get set, Go! We're off. That's it, boy. That's it. Easy now. Curly. We're neck and neck. Easy. Curly. I just hope I don't override you. Curly. Why? Come back here and get your horse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, oh, the the excitement. I guess I forgot him. (laughs) I wondered why I was breathing so hard. (laughs) Hold the horse, Ellie, and I'll get on him again. Where'll I pick him up? <laughs> oh, Bill, Willie's way ahead of you. Why don't you give up? A Cherokee never gives up. This horse can run, and I'll beat that Willie yet. Now, come on, boy. Let's go. 
Atta boy. She broke nicely. That's it, boy. That's it. Now take it easy. Easy, boy. Save yourself for the stretch. Oh, man, we're traveling at a nice, steady clip now. Phil. Keep to the rail, baby. Keep to the rail. We'll catch up with Willie. Phil. Alice, stop walking alongside of my horse. <laughs> Makes them nervous. Now, <laughs> oh, come on, boy. Come on. Let's get going. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Now we're traveling, baby. Oh, uh, Chloe, we're gonna win this podcast. Now come on, Chloe. Come on, old baby. We're at the quarter pole already. Come hey, on. Curly. About time you showed up. I've been waiting for you. All right, don't be funny. Where's Alice? She ran up ahead to brush some stones off the track. I'm right here, Phil. Honey, why don't you give why up? Why should I? I'm not gonna give up. I'm doing all right. I'll beat that brother of yours if it's the last thing I do. Come on, baby. Please. For Papa. Come on. I'd wake him up, but I believe he's going faster this way. Come on, will you please, Gluey? Come on, baby, just a little bit more. Please, come on. To arms, to arms, the British are coming. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, keep going, Curly. You're almost at the finish line. I am. Come on, Glue Pot, wake up. Don't you even want to see the finish? <laughs> hey, where'd all them people come from? Well, Phil, isn't it wonderful? What is? You just won tomorrow's third race. Sure. <laughs> Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. There's hardly a place in the world that you won't find that familiar trademark, RCA. In radio stations in Australia, in ships plying Arctic waters, in jeeps on the training fields of army camps, and, of course, in living rooms the world over. So it's not really surprising to see that symbol of dependability and superb performance in a new place, on the glistening enamel of the beautiful new range in your kitchen. Yes, it's here at last the RCA Estate Range. Naturally, this great new range has dozens of great new features. The sensational barbecuer meat oven that gives whole roasts, hams, or chickens that outdoor barbecue flavor. The hideaway griddle for top-of-the-range grilling of meats, fruits, and vegetables. The oversized balanced heat bake oven. Yes, the RCA Estate Range is the last word in superb design, dependable performance, easy automatic operation. Visit your dealers now. See the cooking marvel of the century, the RCA Estate Gas or Electric Ranges. This is Phil again. I just want to remind you of our new time following Bob Hope on Friday nights. It's what we call H&H Night. That stands for Hope and Har... No, Harrison Hope. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Included in this program transcribed was Joseph Kearns. The part of Julius was played by Walter Tetley. This has been an NBC Radio Network production. It's the famous Glenn Miller theme and the introduction to RCA Victor's complete musical biography of Glenn Miller and his music in a single magnificent album priced at $24.95. RCA Victor brings you 70 Miller selections. Listen to this extraordinary collector's album, the Glenn Miller Limited Edition, at your RCA Victor record dealers now. Here's a television program note. There's plenty of family fun, plenty of songs on RCA Victor's new Dennis Day show. Tune in every week. Check your newspaper's television listings for time and channel of the hilarious Dennis Day Show. Remember, the Magic 28 starts Sunday on the NBC...